Hello again and welcome to another edition of Creative License. I'm Bill Herman, your host, and I uh, can't thank you enough for being a part of these podcasts every week. Um, today, um, I wanted to talk about something a little different. I mean, I, I'm a pretty, pretty happy guy, right? Um, most of you that know me, uh, not many things can really rattle me. <laughs> um, and it wasn't until later on in life in the DJ industry that when I started to have some success that I started to give back, uh, being a part of uh, the National Association, being a part of a, uh, a regional and, uh, and citywide association from where I'm from, uh, being a part of a couple of uh, uh, big organizations that were hoping to change the industry and how DJs saw themselves uh, with professionalism and things like that. Uh, and I became one of those guys uh, that they listed amongst the leaders in the industry. And I'm not sure completely how comfortable I am with that, but uh, I am kind of put out there. And because of it, um, when I looked up what I needed to be to be a leader, um, one of the things was you need to, if you're going to talk the talk, you really should walk the walk. Um, if you are going to speak to something, you need to have the integrity that says that you have, you have been there that you know what you're talking about, that you're willing to die for the ideas and that you're willing to do things for others, uh, showing that, uh, showing as a, as, a, as a shining example of what's possible, right? Uh, which is what I've been, it's what I've always been trying to do. Um, I will say though, and I, this is, this is going to probably the, one of the few rants that I have on any of these pad, podcasts, but there are more than a few industry leaders that have been that have been lifted to that place or have put themselves in that place that I don't see uh, as what I just described. <laughs> There's and, and, and a lot of the problem and a lot of the reason why it's like that is because of all of you. Okay? You see it all the time. I hear it from all of you. You know, people that are part of groups uh, that are that are uh, lifting up those same human beings as being part of uh, being a leader, yet um, will tell to me silently and privately that they that they don't see that to be true. That they see hypocrisy uh, with those people, um, and they see those people just using their their situation or their fame within the industry to better themselves and not really help out. People that'll say that they're they're one thing and then really truly in secret they're another thing. A person uh, I, I see it all the time in the smaller groups because people that aren't leaders that are trying to be leaders that'll come out and say, yeah, but I'm this kind of a performer and I charge this premium rate. And then I turn around and I find out that they're nowhere near those kinds of rates. Uh, and those are the the rates and bringing people up with rates are one of the things that are going to help make some legitimacy within our industry is to if you're going to speak to that you can charge a certain amount of money that you really should be actually charging that kind of money. If you're telling people that they have to take their skills, these wonderful skills they have, and charge a premium price for it, don't turn around and give it away on the internet, on, on Craigslist or, or, or silly uh, websites that, that are asking for your talents for pennies on the dollar. And then, and then to stand in, I am a leader. You should listen to me. You should buy all of my stuff. You should come and see me speak. And then there's more than a few of those people in our industry. Now, I am not here to, 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 sell, to, to use names and tell you exactly who those people are because I shouldn't have to, okay? You have to be a better consumer. <laughs> you need to uh, quit idolizing people and look carefully at those people. The things I've always talked about when I talk about the things I think are important are the things that will help you to be a better person, to be a leader yourself. You can certainly look to me as leadership, but I'm, I'm not standing on a pulpit anymore. I'm not trying to lead an organization anymore. I'm just trying to stand as a shining example and to put out there what's possible for what you can be. You choose whether or not you want to be that or not. But do us all a favor and start looking closer at those people who say they are those things but they really aren't because they're hurting you. They're hurting this, this tiny industry that's trying to be an actual industry by taking advantage of the idea that integrity matters. To be a thing when you say you're a thing, to do a thing when you say you're going to do a thing, to be the person that you set yourself out to be, especially when the industry is looking to you, to be that shining example. And when those people turn around on a regular basis and aren't, and are, 
idols are smashed, then we start saying things like, well, what do you expect? We're just a bunch of DJs. That's what our customers are saying. You shouldn't say that. You should know we are not just those DJs that our customers say. We are something else. Yeah, there are people in our industry that are liars and are, have, are, that have difficult time with integrity. And those people are always going to be there. But we need to find a way to quit lifting those kinds of people to a place of authority and leadership. And or we need to put different people in those places of authority. I think that's important so that we can raise an industry to a place that actually sits on a, on a level playing field of integrity instead of the crumbling that's happening from some of the people that are in leadership in our world that are not what they say they are. So what am I asking you to do? Don't point fingers. Okay. Just quit feeding those people. Okay. Look closely at them to see if whether or not what they say is real. There may be things that they can say to help you, but probably not if they're not sitting in integrity. Isn't that the kind of person that you want to be like? I do. That's who I try to surround myself with. Surround yourself with the people you want to be like, okay? And quit looking at the flash and look closely at what is really important. Please, for yourself, for me, for my industry. Ugh. Do I, do I seem angry? I hate to be angry. <laughs> As you can see, this really bugs me. Uh, what are your thoughts about this? Without naming names, I want to know what you think, okay? Write down some things within the comments below. Um, what kind of things do you think should happen? Am I full of it? Am I wrong? Tell me, I'm wrong. This is just how I'm seeing things right now, and it's really upsetting. And I hope that it's upsetting enough to you to help your industry. So. Uh, share, this, share this podcast. Uh, uh, if you want to know more about my workshop, it's entertainment-experience.com. I would love for you to be a part of it. There are only a few seats available anyway. Uh, so if you really want it, you know you can have it. We talked about that too, right? Uh, and, and otherwise, I'll see you next week and I'll be a lot more cheerful. Uh, Bill Herman with Creative License. Bye. Uh.